everyone, please join me at Cool Summer Desserts Collaboration, hosted by Gail's Southern Living, Yogi Hollow Farm, and Granny Morino. And today we're making strawberry panna cotta and mango passion fruit panna cotta. First, we'll make the cream layer of our panna cotta, and we need one quart of heavy cream. Make sure it's a whipping cream. Please don't use milk, you'll get completely different results. Also, we need half a cup of sugar, two and quarter teaspoons of gelatin, a little bit of water, approximately two, three tablespoons of water, just enough to dissolve gelatin. Mix the gelatin with water and let it sit for a couple of minutes. This is called blooming. We also need one tablespoon of vanilla extract. I'm using my homemade vanilla extract. While the gelatin is blooming, you want to warm up your cream with sugar. Please do it on low heat. We don't want our cream to burn. Did you know that the name of this dessert, panna cotta, actually means cooked cream? But we don't cook it for too long, we just let it come to a light simmer like this and then turn off the heat and add the bloomed gelatin. So here it is and mix it really well into the cream. We want all of the gelatin to dissolve. And then in the end, we add one tablespoon of vanilla extract. You can also strain your cream mixture through a colander to make sure there is no undissolved gelatin particles. You can use any containers or glassware you have. I like using these pretty glasses from Port Marion Botanic Garden collection I have. They just look pretty. And I like to tilt my glasses so my first layer uh, can get an interesting shape. You'll see in the end. Also, when I was straining my cream, um, I did it into a measuring cup, as you can see. Why I did it? Because it's so much easier to pour from the measuring cup than it would be from the pot. This recipe makes 8 servings, so just evenly distribute your cream into 8 glasses. While I was straining my mixture, it cooled down a little and that's why now it is safe to pour into my glasses. I don't want them to break so I wouldn't be pouring hot and boiling mixture. When you're done pouring the cream into the cups, you let them cool down at room temperature and then transfer them into your uh, fridge for at least four hours. This will allow your gelatin to do its magic and then you'll be ready to do the second layer, which is the fruit layer. You can use any fruits of your choice, fresh or frozen. I had these mango and passion fruit pulp on hand, so this is what I'll be using for half of my panna cottas and the other half will be with strawberry. So you get 28 ounces of your fruit, one cup of sugar and two teaspoons of gelatin. You bloom the gelatin again like with the previous layer. While the gelatin is blooming, you warm up your fruit pulps or juice uh, with sugar, then you add the gelatin, make sure it dissolves, strain it into a measuring cup and pour it into your uh, glass containers that already have 
first layer and look how cool it looks because we tilted our glasses you don't have to do this obviously you can just pour it straight into a cup without tilting it but i think tilting makes this interesting design uh, and i like everything interesting then for the other half i'll be using my strawberry puree that i made myself from the strawberries i picked and i just froze it so again you mix 28 ounces of strawberry with a cup of sugar and you bloom two teaspoons of gelatin with a little bit of water and when the strawberry and sugar warm up you add the gelatin dissolve it and pour it into these cups so as you can see i did half with mango passion and half with strawberry when you are ready to pour you don't have to tilt the glasses anymore you just uh, make sure they're straight so just divide it in between your portions of course you don't have to do two flavors you can just use one flavor for all of your eight portions or you can cut it in half and make only four uh, portions you can also um, blend your fruit puree make sure there is no chunks um, or you can use it the way I did after you are done with the second layer you put it in the fridge again for at least four hours and voila you have your homemade panna cotta and it's delicious you guys on hot summer days it's so refreshing and yummy try it i'm sure you will love it and if you want to see more cool summer desserts then click on the hashtag in the description box below i hope you enjoyed this recipe thank you for watching see you next time